This relationship has always been based on recognizing differences and respecting each other's core interests. Differences abound even between the United States and its allies, not to mention between China and the United States, two countries different in history, culture, social system, and stage of development. But this does not mean that we are bound to collide head on. The differences did not prevent us from establishing and developing relations 45 years ago. There's even less reason why they should block our exchanges and cooperation now. Some people in the United States often talk about competition. Indeed, competition is commonplace in the modern world. But it should be fair competition that abides by rules and a healthy race to the top, not a zero-sum game, still less a pretext for depriving others of their legitimate development rights and interests. Competition between countries should be like competing with each other for excellence in a racing field, not beating one another in a wrestling ring. If we do need to compete, then let's compete to do a better job in running our country and contribute more to the stability and prosperity in the region and the world. The Taiwan question is the most important and sensitive question in China-U.S. relations. No one cherishes more than the Chinese side peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. But separatism for Taiwan independence is as incompatible with peace of the Strait as fire with water. When it comes to Taiwan independence separatists, who betray their motherland and refuse to identify themselves as Chinese, the Chinese government simply has no room for compromise. The U.S. side should abide by the One China principle and the three Sino-U.S. joint communiques with concrete actions. Earnestly deliver on the statements by American leaders that the United States does not support Taiwan independence and has no intention to use Taiwan as a tool to contain China and work with China to maintain peace and stability across the Strait and the overall China-U.S. relations.